aquarium right now, so we're bringing the aquarium to you. Now, last time we talked about some of the enrichment that we use for the Vinterongs and the Asian small quad otters, which got Scarlett and I thinking, maybe we should check out some other otters. So today, I'm joined with Lauren, and we're gonna talk about the North American river otters we have in Utah. Lauren, can you introduce yourself and tell us about what you do? Of course, um, so my name is Lauren, as you said, I'm an assistant curator here at the aquarium, and I work with all the birds and mammals, but um, I've been working with the Narrows, the North American River Otters, a lot lately, and Scarlet, of course, uh, but I get to take care of all the really, really cool animals. Oh, very nice! <laughs> so what does that look like? I know when I was about six years old, all I wanted to do was train dolphins. So you're kind of living like a lot of childhood dreams right now. What uh, did you do to get to this point? I actually shared that dream of wanting to be a dolphin trainer. Yeah! Um, and then as I aged, it kind of turned into a veterinarian. Um, and then I did my first internship at a zoo, and I knew that being a zookeeper was for me. So in college, I was really, really hard with volunteering um, and internships. And then I was able to have a few jobs, and so I got my first job here. Here we are. Very cool. And you've been working with these otters now for how long? I've been working with these specific otters for just over five years. Five years. So what does that look like? What does a day in the life of an otter caregiver look like? Ooh, it's lots of fun. It's really stinky and very sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds enjoyable to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we, we feed these guys at least three times a day. So we're cleaning their exhibit at least three times a day as well. Um, we try to do more than three. We enrich them two to three times a day. Um, and they also have lots of fun things to do throughout the day that we do So we did just have the otter's birthday in March, on March 5th actually. Uh, were you part of the team that helped put that together? Yeah, I was part of the team. Um, so we gave them lots of fun things, <gasps> lots of their favorite things. They had a big ice skate um, that had lots of their favorite fishes in it. Um, yeah, trout's definitely their favorite. We also gave them lots of burlap sacks. They really, really love to get those stretches and dry Ooh, off in the back. That's awesome. <laughs> so it would seem that you work really hard to give everything these otters need for their health and for their well-being. And I know that we are in the Utah area right now and that North American river otters can be found in Utah. What can we do to help North American river otters near us? That's a really good question. I would say that the number one thing we can do is reduce our use of single-use plastics so and uh, make it into the waterway where those uh, river otters will be living. That's an excellent point and one of the easiest steps that you can do is get a reusable bag. So that is one way that we can help reducing the amount of plastic that makes its way into the waterways. That way these guys have a nice clean home to live in. Now it looks like Scarlett and I want to check out the rest of the Utah area. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and your insight. And thank you guys for tuning in. We know that you guys aren't able to come to the aquarium right now. That's why we're bringing the aquarium to you. Tune in next time to see some more awesome and amazing things.